Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to take a look at Gamer Finger Buttons, the HBFS30 and the HBFS24. I'm going to compare them to the Sanwa OBSF buttons as well as the Hori Hayabusa buttons. Let's get started. Now, Gamer Finger is not as well known as Sanwa or Samitsu, for example, which are the main two go-to type of buttons for fight sticks and arcades. Gamer Finger takes a slightly different approach to creating buttons. They use Cherry MX switches. So if we take a look here, the HBFS 30 is a 30 millimeter button, so it'll fit in the 30 millimeter hole. It is a push button. They do have a snap-in or a screw-in type. And they use the Cherry MX Silver buttons, which have a very short actuation point. You can see here it is 1.2 millimeters for the travel and an operating force of 45 grams. They're designed, it says here, for professional fight gamers. Uh, also 40% faster than Cherry MX Red Switches, and they're rated for 50 million button presses. So a couple key things that had me interested in Gamer Finger buttons was the fact that they were based on Cherry MX switches, which is pretty much the go-to gold standard for keyboards. And the HBFS24 is essentially the same button, just a smaller size. So the 24 millimeter button really is used, for example, the option buttons on some arcade machines or on your fight stick, chances are it's a 24 millimeter button. However, on the hitbox, 24 millimeter button is the standard. So 24 millimeter button for all directional movements as well as all button inputs except for jumping. Jumping uses a 30 millimeter, which would be the HBFS 30. And the best part about both buttons is that they are silent. I can't stress how much uh, of an importance silent buttons are if you are playing at night, for example, on a fight stick, silent buttons are definitely the way to go. Also, the standard hitbox is pretty loud. It uses Sanwa buttons, 24 millimeter, uh, and sometimes those buttons do give you away. Uh, the loudness of the buttons, depending on the movements that you're doing, sometimes give away what you're trying to do. So silent buttons are sometimes a more preferable option in order to give yourself just that little bit of edge. So Gamer Finger actually sent me some buttons in order to take a look at. They sent me 24 millimeter buttons, they sent me 30 millimeter buttons, they sent me some with the silver micro switch, and they also sent me a couple with the blue, the Cherry MX blue micro switch, which is a completely different feeling overall. On top of that, they also sent a couple lanyards, which are included when you make a purchase on their website. And I've got their website open right here, and you can see order eight buttons to get the free button keyring. So taking a look at the lanyard here, you can see Gamer Finger H HBFS G3 and the button that's attached. And there is a sticker on the button that says remove before fight. You can take that off or just keep that on. It's completely up to you. It is a screw top and it is firmly attached. Uh, I was playing around with it just a little bit to see what it was like, uh, but you can see it's a fully functioning button. The only difference is that the button itself doesn't have the two metal pegs on the bottom that attach to the wires in your fight stick. So it's pretty neat. It's a, a little added bonus if you do purchase eight buttons. Now, since they did give me two of these, if you see me at Canada Cup, which is a fighting game tournament, I'm going to be there October 27th to 29th, I think. It's over that weekend. If you see me and mention that you saw my Gamer Finger button review video, I'm going to give you one of those lanyards. Now, it's obviously going to be to the first person who says they saw my video, but if you say you saw my video and you're the first person who said it, you get the lanyard. Now, there are two sets of 24 millimeter buttons at the top there. You can see the white and you can see the clear. In the box, here are sets of 30 millimeter buttons. And as per usual, as I'm trying to film this video, my cat makes a cameo. So here I have the HBFS 24, that's the Gamer Finger button on the left, 
and the Sanwa 24 millimeter button on the right for comparison. So you can see that the gamer finger does sit slightly higher than the Sanwa button. And you can also see that they have roughly the same uh, actuator distance between the two. On the left here, is the 30 millimeter button from Gamer Finger, and on the right is the standard Sanwa 30 millimeter button. Now here are two different types of Gamer Finger buttons. The left one has the silver micro switch in it, and the right one has the MX Cherry Blue switch. This is my hitbox with standard Sanwa buttons. Here's the hitbox with the gamer finger buttons installed. This is the stock Hori Wrap 4 with Hori Hayabusa buttons installed. This is the Hori Wrap 4 with the Gamer Finger buttons installed. This is the Hori Wrap 4 with Hayabusa, Sanwa, and Gamer Finger buttons installed. Now there are all Hayabusas on the top. Those are the standard buttons that come with the stick. This white button here is a Hayabusa button as well. This black rimmed button here is the blue micro switch uh, Gamer Finger button. The red button here is the standard Sanwa button. And this clear button with the white rim is the Gamer Finger button, the standard Gamer Finger button with the silver micro switch. Now here's a test to see when these buttons are active and when they're not. So unfortunately, I don't have a better test than this, but on this computer screen here, there are a bunch of zeros and they correspond to the buttons. Now, as soon as I press a button, this will light up here and you'll see a one. And I'm gonna compare the Sanwa to the Gamer Finger. Now something to take note of, when I was installing these buttons in the Hori Wrap 4, there were a couple places where the screw-in buttons did not fit. Uh, you can see right here, the case is uh, too narrow between the button spacing and the case uh, for the screw-in button to fit. So just something to take note of, definitely measure uh, where your buttons are going some fight sticks you will need just to use the snap-in buttons but then again this would happen with 
virtually any screw in button because the screw in part of it uh, does need additional space. So I installed the Gamer Finger buttons on both my Route 4 and on my Hitbox. Initially, I love them. They're really, really nice. They're quiet, they're smooth, they feel great, and they look really cool. I will be using both of these at Canada Cup. That's how confident I am with the performance of these buttons. And I'll probably keep them in these fight sticks as I really, really like these buttons. Canada Cup is from October 26th to 28th. If you are there and you see me, feel free to stop me if you want to try out the Gamer Finger buttons because by all means you can. I'll let you use my fight stick or the hitbox and you can definitely try it out. The buttons are available at GamerFinger.com and they're also available at places like Focus Attack. And you can see here they have the different buttons, the different switches you can put in the different buttons, as well as different colors. Pretty much customization to your heart's content. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions on the Gamer Finger buttons, let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you everyone, take care.